from its New York studio, CNN has done some terrible reporting throughout the war on Gaza. In particular, their main host, Jake Tapper, is happy to amplify every talking point the Israelis offer, or he seems to be, if you look at his output, um, seemingly whenever they please. However, um, their reporters on the ground in Gaza have done a much better job, including with this latest report about the IDF excavating Palestinian graveyards. This is no ordinary quarry. It's where the living once buried their dead. Gaza's Bani Sahela Cemetery, hollowed out by Israeli excavators. These were all graves. This was a cemetery, but the military says that they were forced to come in here because they discovered a Hamas tunnel running right underneath that cemetery. But the Israeli military failed to prove that stunning claim during a three-hour tour of the area. They invited us here a week after we first uncovered this graveyard's partial destruction using satellite imagery, part of a CNN investigation that found 16 cemeteries in Gaza damaged or destroyed by the Israeli military. This whole area here is a military compound. From the mosque over there, underneath the graveyard, all the way down north and south. My forces, at the beginning, we try to flank this area, were fired from this area again and again and again. They couldn't understand why. So that's how you determine that there was a, a tunnel here, because you were being fired upon? Yes, sir. So the context of this report is really interesting, right? The IDF didn't randomly decide to take CNN to a Palestinian graveyard they dug up. They didn't think, oh, this would be a great thing to show CNN. CNN, come to this graveyard we've dug up. No. Instead, CNN discovered that the Israelis had been digging up graveyards by looking at satellite imagery, right? So they sort of discovered this against the IDF's will. And now the IDF are trying to cover their backs. They're saying, what you thought you saw, actually, there's a different story here. So let's see what evidence the IDF managed to muster that these graveyards were a legitimate target for destruction. Our journey to investigate the Israeli military's claims begins in the rubble of what they say was a residential building. Even just standing at the mouth of this tunnel, you can feel the humidity just like emanating here. And this is the way that we go in to what they say is an extensive tunnel system in Bani Suhela. We descend into a dark, seemingly endless labyrinth. There's just tight spaces like this in certain parts of this tunnel. But then you get here and you have full headspace pretty much. All throughout it, you can see that there's electricity, there's telecommunications. The Israeli military says that this tunnel system actually leads to a Hamas command center, which they say was used by Hamas fighters to coordinate their attacks. The Israeli military says this is that command center. Multiple rooms equipped with plumbing and electricity. Maps like this once lining the walls. You can see a kitchen here equipped with a sink, running water, with the pipes running through the tunnel wall. You have a fan, plates. I mean, you could imagine this being in a house, but instead it's deep, deep underground. So the IDF have shown the reporter an extensive underground tunnel network. Now, we do know tunnels had some civilian uses in Gaza. The Strip has been under siege for 16 years, and the tunnels were one way goods could get in. But there is no doubt they also um, had a military purpose. So does that mean Israel had proven they had a right to dig up Palestinian graves? Let's keep watching. Where are we right now? I mean, what's above us? So we're in the headquarters of a Hamas commander. Uh, above us is a cemetery uh, that I showed you from the outside. If you look at the satellite imagery of this cemetery, there is a wide area that the military has cleared. Why is that necessary in order to uncover these tunnels? We had to reach the tunnels. We had to reach the tunnels. We had to uncover the tunnels. We had to prevent from the enemy to flank us. But there's no way for us to verify whether we are actually beneath the graveyard. Right. General Goldfuss takes us back out of the tunnel, but not into the cemetery. Instead, we leave the same way we came in, before walking back to the enormous hole where the cemetery once stood. Please, hold on a yeah. So we're asking the general if we can actually see the shaft to the tunnel. But the answer 
is no. So? There's all kinds of machinery which I don't want you to, uh, to, to take pictures of. The security might force but What about if we don't film it? We just no look with our eyes. If we... you might fall in, the whole thing can collapse. Or you have to walk to the edge, the edge is not secured. It can collapse, there's machinery, so on. It's, it's not something I'm going to take a risk on. Can you show me proof the tunnels you just showed me are actually under the graveyard you destroyed? No, because you can't film the military equipment. Okay, can we look with our eyes? No, you might fall down the hole, right? It's a very, I do have a girlfriend, but she goes to another school vibe, right? It was not convincing. And it gets worse. The Israeli military later provided this drone footage showing the tunnel shaft we entered and another one nearby. CNN geolocated the footage using this satellite image. This outline shows where the cemetery once stood, and these are the two tunnel entrances clearly outside the graveyard. As for the tunnel they say they found here, where the cemetery once stood, the military never provided any evidence. Now, you've got to remember, right, CNN, I think, discovered around 16, didn't they say, 16 cemeteries that had been destroyed by the IDF. And this was the IDF's attempt to say, oh no, this wasn't just a, a, an act of cultural vandalism, you know, a desecration of the Palestinian dead. No, this was a military um, mission that was necessary to get these tunnels. Now, of all of the cemeteries they had destroyed, one can presume that the IDF chose the one to show CNN that they thought was most persuasive, right? Because the IDF controlled the Gaza Strip, but journalists can't go anywhere without their say-so. So they presumably thought, of, of the ones we've destroyed, which is the one that we have the strongest evidence actually had a military purpose for Hamas. They chose this cemetery and they didn't realize that maybe showing a tunnel near a cemetery would be enough for a decent journalist. They would want to see that the tunnel was actually under the cemetery and they could provide no evidence, which suggests there isn't a tunnel under the cemetery, right? Because if you've got, you know, the idea for in complete control of this area, if there is a tunnel under that cemetery, they would be able to show it to CNN. So what is going on here, right? What is going on? Oh, well, it's the Israelis lying again, right? The Israelis lying again. You know, there were moments in that clip where I sort of, you know, I thought the ridiculousness of what the IDF general was saying was sort of entertaining. Oh, no, you, can't, you might fall down the hole, right? There is, there is a sort of dark humor to it. But this is incredibly serious. And I mean, it, it is in this situation unclear what has happened to the corpses in the cemeteries destroyed by Israel. But Palestinians have long accused Israel of stealing bodies exhumed from graveyards in Gaza. And Israel has confirmed to CNN that during this war, it has intentionally exhumed some dead bodies of Palestinians. They say this was to determine whether they once belonged to hostages. So they said, well, we were just looking for dead Israeli bodies. It just so happens. And we dug up a bunch of Palestinian ones. Now, this week, dozens of dead bodies have been returned to Gaza by Israel, where they are being buried in a mass grave. Palestinian health officials said the remains were of Palestinians who had been killed by Israeli forces during their offensive and whose corpses had been dug up and taken to Israel. One doctor at the site in Rafah told Reuters, quote, we have received 100 bodies, including full bodies, half bodies and body parts. He went on, we don't know where they were injured or even their names. That's the third transfer of bodies from Israel to Palestine since the war began. Those are all people, right? This isn't just numbers, right? These aren't just corpses. These were living, breathing people being killed by an ally of the UK, by an ally of the US, and then dug up. Well, some of these, we, we don't know what, what the, the background with all of these bodies, but some of them, um, it seems, have been exhumed and so many Palestinian cemeteries destroyed, right? These are horrors as we always say, backed and enabled by our government. This is not a tragedy, it's a crime.